Well, hello YouTube, my name is John and this is my first video. As the title of the channel implies, I will try to teach you as many Vim tricks as possible. Now, as many of you know, Vim is the proper programmer's editor and it goes really, really deep. If you wanted to master this editor, you would probably have to spend your entire lifetime doing so. Um, so, I'm probably not going to be able to show you everything about it, but I'll do my best to turn you into a power programmer and show you everything you need as to, to become an intermediate and uh, efficient user of this awesome program. So let's get started. I'd like to apologize for the um, sound quality. I was supposed to get the mic today, but unfortunately, when we were at the tech store, we were buying a new computer and it was all too exciting and I forgot about it, but I'll get it settled tomorrow. Anyway, here's my Vim. Uh, and let me jump in into my Vim config. This is the core of, of your Vim. This is where you program it and make it become your editor. So with Vim, uh, in the beginning you start from scratch, you start from zero and then you build from there on. You add your own key bindings, you configure things the way you like, you write your own functions, you import plugins that other people have created to, to uh, expand the functionality. So, as you've seen, I've jumped into my VimRC really quickly, and the way I did that is through this little um, mapping. I've mapped leader V to open my VimRC, pretty cool. Okay, um, what I'd like to talk about today is storing your dot .files in a git repo is important, and here's why. If you check out my VimRC, it's 500 lines long, and that's pretty long. Usually you want to keep it as, as short and concise as possible, so you can review your, your VimRC often and know exactly what you have and remove the unnecessary clutter. And why is this important? This is important because programmers change. We change the stack, we learn new programming languages and drop the old ones, or, or we just change the way how we do things. And what's really important is you don't want to have two, three thousand lines of, of useless clutter config in your VimRC. So what you want to do is go over it often and delete things that you don't need. But then the question is, how do you keep track of the changes? Um, or maybe you've deleted something and you'd like it back. Um, if that's the case, well, Git to the rescue. So if you don't know what Git is, then shame on you. Every good programmer should know what Git is. If you don't know, go check it out, go do a little research. So my recommendation is to just have a Git repo of all your dot .files, your vmrc, your tmux config, your patched fonts, whatever you, whatever you need for your uh, workstation, uh, sorry, for your development environment, put that into a uh, a nice little repo and push it to github or whatever. So let's see, okay, I've done some modification um, to my to my vmrc and here it is. I've added a retab function, I've been working on some old code that needed retabbing and here's a little function that, that did it for me, okay. If I go back to my VimRC, I'm just going to uh, commit that. And there we go. So, um, I hope I'll be able to make more videos when I get the, the microphone. So, see you guys tomorrow.